welcome back to my channel keto with sammy for today's video we're making an awesome yummy keto dessert today we are going to be making some keto strawberry shortcakes so let's get straight to the video all right guys so for today's ingredients of course you're going to want some chopped up strawberries i have about four here you're going to want five egg whites six tablespoons of melted butter one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, some vanilla, some cream of tartar, some liquid stevia for sweetener and of any other sugar replacement that you like in the granular form, some coconut flour and some almond flour and some salt. And then right here, we just have some ready whip in a can. You could totally use this. I like to keep it simple for y'all. So just this is very easy to make and you just top it with some whipped cream or you can just make your own homemade whipped cream. All right guys, so first step you wanna do is get out your mixer. I have my mixer right here, this is my dash. If y'all would like to check it out, I will link it in the description below. But first thing you wanna to add to your mixing bowl is you're going to add your five egg whites. Just drop that on in there. And then to our five egg whites, we're gonna add some cream of tartar. You're going to add half a teaspoon. And then we're gonna mix this until it forms stiff peaks and I'll show you what I mean. All right guys, so this is what I mean when you have soft peaks. You wanna be able to see that the egg can stand up by itself just like this and it's ready. So now we're gonna add our six tablespoons of melted butter slowly. We're gonna add a couple at a time and then mix. Just mix until it's well incorporated and then add some more. last time and then we're just going to mix it well. All right, once our butter is well mixed in, we're gonna start adding our other ingredients. So you're gonna take some vanilla, you're gonna add in half a teaspoon. You're also going to add half a teaspoon of your liquid stevia. And then we're going to take any sugar replacement that you're using in the granular form. You're going to add in three tablespoons. All right, once you have all those ingredients in, you're just going to mix them until it's well incorporated. All right, once everything is done, we're just gonna leave this to the side and then we're gonna pull out another big bowl and mix our dry ingredients together. All right guys, so to a mixing bowl, we're gonna add one cup of almond flour. Then you're going to take your coconut flour and you're going to add in half a tablespoon to your almond flour. Then you're going to take one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. And then we're just going to add in a dash of salt. Then you're just going to mix this all well together. Try to take out any clumps that you may see. Now once that is well mixed together, you're going to add your dry ingredients into our egg mixture that we whipped up earlier. All 
And you're not going to mix this, you're going to fold it gently. So just take the edges and fold it all together. All right guys, so once everything is well mixed in just like this, we're going to set this aside and then we're going to pull out our muffin tin. All right, so I have my silicone liners right here in my muffin tin. Now this batter should make about five or six shortcakes, so we're just gonna evenly distribute the batter into these. And if you don't have these silicone um, muffin tins, you do wanna make sure you either spray it down really good or use some parchment paper because these will stick when you bake them. All right, once you have your batter all evenly distributed into your muffin tins, we're going to pop these in the oven to bake. All right, guys, so I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees, and we're just going to pop these in. Now you want to bake these for about 20 to 25 minutes until they are golden around the edges. All right, guys, so once your strawberry shortcakes are nice and brown, just like this, you want to set them aside and let them cool off. Now you do want to let them completely cool down before you take them out because if not, they're just going to crumble apart. All right guys, so I let my strawberry shortcakes cool down and now I'm just going to take them out of my cupcake liner. They should look something like this. And all there's left to do is top it so you can either make some homemade whipped cream. If y'all want to see a video on that, let me know down in the comments below and I will gladly show y'all how to make that. But for today, we're using this Ready Whip. So I'm just going to top it with that. And then you can just top it with your cut up strawberries. And enjoy. Question of the day, what has been your favorite keto dessert that I have made? Comment down below. All right guys, so that concludes today's video over keto strawberry shortcakes. I hope y'all enjoy this awesome dessert recipe. And if you do, comment down below how y'all enjoyed it. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all in my next video.